Hello everyone, <laughs> welcome back to another video. In today's video, my car's full of snowballs because it's clearly snowing. And we have this new snowball launcher gun, which, yeah, I've been messing about with. You don't need to pick up snow up from the floor anymore. Um, and yeah, you've got a gun. But yeah, we're here for the new Dorado, which is based on the uh, 2000 Durango. And again, I, I, say, I keep saying it, but it seems like this DLC, they're just cloning cars. Or rock stars or the closest ver legal version of cloning cars this car does cost 1.375 million now this discount is probably for gta plus uh please do confirm it in the comment section if that's the case if it's not and everyone gets this discount that is pretty cool it'd be nice to actually test this vehicle out in the snow let's see what it does in the snow i'm hoping when i get into lsc all these windows clear wait let me damage the car just to make sure <laughs> right there we go in lsc it doesn't look like snow anymore it just has to go cocaine all over my car arch covers we have uh we have a plastic arch cover oh sorry carbon arch cover uh, you know rockstar don't do plastic anymore we've got street arch covers hang on are they wider no what oh secondary colors okay i mean at first glance it looks like there's a lot of difference when it comes to arch covers but the difference is so subtle what is the difference? Okay, okay, that's the difference. So you, on these options, on these final options, you get the front bonnet bra as well. I don't know what you call it in America. Probably the same thing, to be honest. So I'll go for a more sportier. It's, it's nice that there's something so subtle. Right, Hella, you're not here for your own customization. You're here for everyone else. Okay, the the bull bars. Uh, there's many options and uh, thankfully there's loads of different types of options all of them are individual options instead of just different colors and carbon fiber and plastic and yeah as you can probably tell I am slightly annoyed by that you'll go into a drop down menu you'll see so many different options and then there'll all be the same thing but different variants right front bumpers yeah, it's so cool when you accidentally buy a front bumper especially when they're 15,000 each but yeah, primary stock front bumpers. <laughs> and why? Why have we got the stock bumper in carbon fiber? Why is the carbon fiber an option on so many cars now? It's just like a blank option to make it look like the car's got more modifications. <sighs> yeah, three different variants of the same bumper. Um, I like that they're giving us variants, but not... What is this? What is the difference? What's smooth about it? Really? That little part of the front lip? Okay, we've got a nice front bumper, which uh, I didn't accidentally buy earlier. No, I bought the other one. But yeah, uh, I think that is the Shelby bumper. I think. Yeah, I think I've seen Shelby versions of this car. And um, yeah, I, I, I think this would fit the more Shelby look, which I might try and go for if we do have the livery for it. They've got to be unicorns, those kind of Shelbys, because they are very rare. They are very rare, but I think they transform these cars. Look at that, a full carbon fiber bumper. Who's going for that option? Let me know in the comments if you are going for that option. Uh, for, again, it's like you can predict the rear bumpers because of what the front bumpers are. What? Okay, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I was not expecting some one that has ball bars on it because it wasn't in the ball bar option. For some reason, the front is separated from ball bars but and the rear is not. Um, probably just to add a few more rear options. Okay, front fenders. We have a carbon one and a secondary color one. Is this just every car now? I thought I was getting overly annoyed with these things, but surely I'm not the only one. Okay, at least we got a lot of grill options. I'm happy that we do have a lot of grill options and all of them kind of take away from the Durango look. So I think I'll keep the stock option. And I think the facelift of the Durango had colored grill instead of uh, chrome grill yeah please correct me if i'm wrong there right we're on hood we've got um yeah carbon hood uh primary smoothed primary smooth hood why and it also seems like a lot of options that are less than the stock option are also an option like if you've got grooved hood which i don't mind if you've got a grooved hood for a stock you can actually get it smoothened out um they have some nice aggressive options i like this one I do like this one. Yeah, there seems to be many options. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for that one. I think it's a lot. It's a lot. And I do love the kind of 
civilianness of this car and how spongy the suspension is and now i'm kind of making it a bit sporty but that's okay that's okay oh okay so you do have some liveries is this not more of a newer durango kind of livery i oh that this is this is more like it this looks more like the shelby picture i saw earlier I might go for the deal white stripes for now even though i haven't even looked at these oh okay okay you ah you've got some interesting i don't really need two different <laughs> look dorado v8 and then we've got dorado's 6.0 v8 as a livery this is gonna be a... oh nice 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 we're matching the hellfire with this uh flames hmm interesting interesting i think i'm gonna stay with the stripes which for many cars i don't really put the stripes on and it's would it's weird for me to even put it on an suv but it's the shelby the shelby spec i saw so that's what i'm going to do okay roof accessories we have an aerial at the back there a uh, roof rack raid roof rack oh we got light bars as well do they work we'll i'll have to put them on now just to test that out <laughs> um we've got roof rack with fog lights got a roof box as well which does not suit this vehicle does not suit this vehicle but skirts oh okay so when you get modify the arch cover it gets rid of the sidestep but then you can put on a sidestep too that's good to know um you know if anyone didn't want to get rid of the stock fenders because it got rid of the sidestep you've got many other options and yeah quite a lot of options it seems like they do share the same kind of sidestep um, design as other cars. And you realize, look at how much, how expensive these sidesteps get. 20, 22K. Spoiler. Does the Shelby have a spoiler? I don't think it does. <laughs> look at these spoilers. Some of them are, I guess, okay. Um, it's very hard to see. Whoa! <laughs> what is this this just made it look like the back of a micro <laughs> i'm just at this position with this spoiler it just looks like a micro a k11 micro i apologize i apologize to anyone that's like a durango fan here because that that's an insult i think i think micros are cool suspension i'm not gonna go for it but let's see how low this goes yeah sensibly low and i think we are done Oh, I look at Tony's spec here. It always looks like a Range Rover with that kind of spec. Oh, this car is so satisfying with the suspension. Look at it. Oh, so jelly. I can't really do a good handling test because it's annoying. No one's expecting like something miraculous to come out. We've clearly got a great example of the suspension, which I I love it. Ah. Oh. I, pro I probably should be looking forward, but <laughs> yeah, the suspension is so nice and so jelly. And from what I know about the real Durango, that's what it's like. So let's do a bit of off-roading, which it's also snowing. So it, it, it's a, ha a hard kind of environment to off-road in. For snow, it grips up quite well. Like it, it's not understeering. It's turning corners at speed. And uh, we've got some mountains here, which I would like to climb, or hills. Okay, we're going off-roading a bit. Am I already... <laughs> I thought I was already stuck there. I was like, that's not a good start. But yeah, we're going to go off... Uh... Oh, it looks so... You know, I might have to do an off-road meet. Because there's different ta levels of satisfaction you get in GTA. This is one of them. This is one of them. Just watching your vehicle just go over bumps and handling it like a real-life car. And then being amazed with this. look at look at okay this is a lot jellier this is probably the most jelly type of vehicle i've experienced off-roading there is a rumpo custom and stuff but i don't really choose to take that off like off-roading because i like to be a bit more rp-ish and like realistic but yeah these things these things are nice and something i'm okay i forgot there's animals something i'm realizing is that the indentation of the damage seems to be let me try damaging it oh <laughs> yeah the damage seems to be like a first gen car like this seems to be more prone to indentations and let's see if we can damage it even more i want to land on my on my rear what 
Okay, just do a backflip. <laughs> I can do that too. It's crazy. Some people might like that. I definitely love it. Oh, I haven't even looked at the engine as well. The Durango's, I think, come with a V8. And this seems to be like a, a more modern, I guess, engine cover. But, you know, still a V8. And yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. And see you guys in the next one.